explain again to a lay person what is preserved ejection fraction and um, you know uh, is there a challenge in terms of diagnosis or an unmet need in terms of diagnosis or under diagnosis see ejection fraction as one can make out from the word ejection and fraction what fraction of the blood gets ejected from the heart ventricle it's mm. a parameter of it's a measure of that particular uh, activity so whenever lesser fraction of blood is getting ejected from the ventricle it means the ventricle is failing it means the ventricle is not working as efficient and for for decades actually we have been thinking that heart failure is essentially a, a situation when the systolic function by systolic we mean the contractile function of the heart is lost hmm. but about 20 years back we realized in fact, when I was doing my DM way back in 1988, we didn't have this entity of heart failure preserved ejection fraction. We only mm -hmm. felt, we used to talk of systolic failure and diastolic failure, but we never realized that at that time the medical world itself was not aware. So it's only subsequently that we realized that heart failure with preserved ejection fraction is a situation when the heart is stiff, when the heart's diastolic function means after all, the blood has to come to the heart for it to pump it forward. Mm. So, the, so the abnormality could be in its receiving the blood, or its ability to receive the blood, or in its pumping it out. When it is there in the pumping function, you call it as systolic dysfunction, and what we call as heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. And when it is in receiving the blood or in kind of accepting more uh, the adequate amount of blood, we call it as diastolic dysfunction, or what is called as preserved ejection fraction. Now, why ejection fraction has become very popular is because echocardiography tells us about ejection fraction. There are other non-invasive non tests also, right. but echo every patient gets done. So they would know actually that whether, what is there. Most patients, in fact, when they come to us, they say, okay, Dr. Mere heart ni ki pumping itne percent hai. Hmm. It's actually not pumping itne percent, hai, it's the ejection fraction. And normal person's ejection fraction is 55 to 60%. So right. if somebody is 30%, they feel my heart is pumping only 30%, but it's not that. It's relative to the 55-60% that it is 30%. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I think that is because when you hear of it as 30%, it really causes a lot of panic. And I think that's important to remember that it is in the context of that normal is 55 to 60. So it's, you know, it is low, but it's not as uh, threatening as uh, it, it appears. Mm -hmm. Thank you.